Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at current in a series circuit. So here is my series circuit. Obviously when you draw a series circuit you're going to use a pencil and a ruler. This is my cell, here is my bulb and here is my ammeter. Now in a series circuit it does not matter where you put the ammeter is going to give exactly the same reading. So if this ammeter is giving a reading of 0.5 amps then if I put three ammeters into exactly the same circuit, it doesn't matter where they are, they are all going to give the same reading, 0.5 amps. And even if I put one up here and I put more bulbs in, they are still going to give the same reading, 0.5 amps. Amps. Now, not every single ammeter is going to give the same reading of 0.5 amps, but if you know one, you can work out the others because they're going to be the same. So if the reading for this one was 1.7 amps, because all of them in a series circuit are the same, I can say this one was 1.7 amps and this one was 1.7 amps as well. Now they can give this to you as a wordy question as well. So if the current in the ammeter next to the bulb is 14 amps, what is the current in the ammeter next to the uh, cell or the battery? Because this is a series circuit, the current stays the same, so it's going to be 14 amps. Now this is just one of the parts of series of videos about current potential difference and resistance in series and parallel circuits, culminating in a big video where I'm going to do loads and loads of questions, loads and loads of tricky questions putting all of these rules together. Go watch the other videos and then test yourself on the big video which culminates and puts everything together.